Hallelujah. I want you to notice here in this verse, verse th um, three, Paul said that we are blessed. He said, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who hath blessed us. Meaning that God has already blessed us. Because we are in Christ, we're in a position of being blessed. We're, being, we're empowered to prosper. We're empowered to succeed. We are fully satisfied. We have everything that we need. Even though some things you don't have right now, you wonder, well, if I got it, where is it at? Some things have to manifest, but in the spirit, we already have it. He said he had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, and we have access. In verse 4 he said, according as he hath chosen us in him. Tell somebody I'm chosen. I'm chosen. Tell somebody, I don't know about you. I'm chosen. Yeah, I'm chosen. Uh, how many of y'all ought to give God some praise? Meaning that God chose you. Hard-headed you. Messed up you. No good you and me. But he chose us. He looked beyond our fault. He saw our need. He saw us in our polluted condition and called us by our name and said, live. The Bible said he had chosen us from the foundation of the world. Before you were born, before mom and dad came together, before there was a wind or a weather, before Adam sinned, he already knew you and chose you and conformed you to be a, a, a part of his family. In the Bible say he predestinated us. Some of the things you're going through and I'm going through, God is arranging us, oh God. It might not feel good, it might not look good, but he's uh, conforming us into his image. We have been chosen from the foundation of the world. Somebody tell somebody God is, awesome. God is awesome. He's an awesome God. He chosen us before the foundation of the world and the purpose that he chose us so that we would be holy. Mm -hmm. Meaning that we would be set apart for him without blame before him in love. When we come to Christ, all the stuff that we've done, his blood washes it away. Cancels it out. Then verse 5 said, having predestinated us, he arranged our steps. You are not here today by accident. You are here because God called you to be here. Some of the people you've met, some of the things you've gone through were not by accident, but God will use them. There's some of the things the devil wants to take us out, but some stuff God will take and use it so he can get the glory out. He had chosen, he predestinated us unto the adoption of children. We were not children, but now we have been adopted into the family. We are a part of the family of God. I heard somebody say that we're all the children of God. And in the sense that God had made everybody with the children, but tr to truly be his children, you must be born again. He, he created us all, and we were all sold into sin, to slavery to sin through Adam. When Adam sinned, the whole human race became slaves to sin. And therefore, we were no longer children of God, but we were children of the devil. I know those are fighting words. I know some of y'all say, the devil ain't, is not my father. But yes, he's your father. That's why you act the way you act. You're lying a minute. Cut somebody out, you're still. You're rebellious. I'm talking in general, not you. I'm just in general. <laughs> That's how, that was our nature. We had a sinful nature. Yes. We looked like our daddy. We took on the nature of Satan. And so Jesus said, in order to be transformed into to, to children of God, you must be born again. Yes. You got to go through the process. So how do we go through that process? We receive Christ as our Savior. And what he did over 2,000 years ago is applied to your account today. So all of the junk you did. Ooh, glory is canceled out. Thank you, Lord. Is washed away. Yes. God doesn't hold you, and he doesn't hold that against you no more. Because he, he's been credited, what Jesus did is a credit to your account. The case that God had against you is, 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 is canceled. Somebody said case dismissed. Case dismissed. That's a good word when you're in the jail, you know you're guilty. You're in the courtroom and you know you're guilty. Yes. Don't have a lawyer, but he said case dismissed. That's what God did in Jesus. Somebody said, Jesus, Jesus. dropped the charges. Drop the I was guilty, I was but he dropped the charges. Case dismissed. Case dismissed. The 
and he conforms us into his image. So we have been predestinated and we've been adopted into the family. We were not a part of the family. We were rebels. We were without God. We were, amen, separated from God. But when in, when Christ came, he didn't just come for the Jew, but he came for the Gentile too. And now he's adopted us into the family. We are part of the family of God. We are royal priesthood. That's why we have a right to praise him. That's why praise is what we do. That's why when we come to worship, you ought to come with a mind to get your praise on. You ought to come with a mind to leave your burden home leave your burden at the altar and give God glory because everybody can't praise him but if you know where he brought you from you got a right to praise him and it's something about praise that brings healing down in your spirit something about worship that takes you in the throne room of God when you go into worship you know what you're doing, you're making love to it and sometimes folk don't understand it but when you make love you gotta get by yourself you gotta get in your own closet shut every Everybody else out. Make love to Jesus. Think about what he's done for you. Where he brought you from. Oh God, you can't help but praise him. Amen. So we praise him. We praise him because he's at, we have, he has adopted us. He has blessed us. He has given us everything we need. You have access to heaven. You have, a, you, you have your security code. You can get, you can get, see heaven is, is blocked out to most folk, but because you in Christ, you have access, you can go in. Folk that have access to certain places got privileges. They got the key, glory to God. And y'all know what the key is to heaven? Prayer is the key. Come on, son. So now, prayer is the key. You can get a prayer through. You can talk to the Father, and he hears you, and faith. Come on, somebody. Y'all are the praise him. Oh, yeah. We got access to the Father. We got access to the Father. And so everything you need, you can talk to the Lord. You can tell him all about it. Whatever you need. Talk somebody whatever. Okay, what it is, you say, oh, that's too small to talk to him. No, he said in everything by prayer and supplication, let your requests be made known. Bring everything you need to God. Because he cares for you. He said, are you not much better than a sparrow? He said, if I feed the sparrow that's out there, how much more will your heavenly father feed you? Uh, he's looking out for you. But he just wants you to get lined up with him. Talk to him. Oh, God. So we have already blessed us. We have access to heaven. We're predestinated. We are adopted into the family by Jesus Christ according to the good pleasure of his will. I want you to notice here about a setup. Uh, the enemy likes to set folk up. People like this, they try to set Jesus up. They were always trying to entrap him in his words. There are, there are three people I want to talk about real quick who set up folk. Number one, Joseph Brothers was set up artists. Because they hated his brother, they tried to set him up to kill him. Because you are chosen of God, there will be people that will try to set you up to character assassinate you. They'll put their mouth on you. They'll, they'll try to cut you off, steal your joy. But don't let that upset you because the anointing attracts haters. If you got some haters, it's because you're anointed and God has a purpose for your life. You got to be careful who you tell your dreams to. You can't tell your dreams to everybody because some folk want to abort your dream. Joseph, if he had any problem, he told his dream to the wrong folk. But that's all right. Even if you told it to some of the wrong folk, if God got your back, he'll use the haters to push you up. Joseph. Joseph kept telling his dreams. His brother said, here come on. They knew that the father favored him. Oh, God.